Okay, so based on the questions that I'm getting, I thought it would be good for us to spend some time actually going through how to do problems in graph theory, how to prove things, how much detail you need, and um, you know, just basically the, the, the steps that it takes to submit an answer to some of these. So, uh, and we have homework due on Tuesday, Tuesday, next Tuesday. All right, so here are 11 problems. Okay, so here are 11 problems. And what I'd like to do is, is uh, I'd like to give you a few minutes to look these problems over and at your tables talk about, talk about uh, you know, one by one, talk about each of these problems. You don't have to talk about all 11 of them, but I want to go through as many of these as we can in full detail so that we can get an idea of how to, some of them are proofs and some of them aren't proofs. So, so again, I think we need practice in looking how to solve problems in graph theory. Before we go on to uh, the next, next thing we're going to talk about today was going to be um, degree sequences. But we'll get to that next week. There's no rush to get through the whole book. We want to make sure that everybody understands graph theory. Okay, so here are, here are again 11 problems. You can work together at your tables and um, then when you, uh, when you uh, have a problem and you think you have a good solution and maybe you want to tell us what the solution is, let's, uh, if you would just raise your hand and, um, and then we'll go through them. Hopefully we'll get through most of the 11. Okay, and, and let me just, um, in fact, why don't you take a minute right now and read page 47, number 14 and 16. Okay, so, so it turns out that, that graph theory has applications to what I would call the party problems. Okay, so if you read uh, if you read number 14, there are at least two people at a party. That's usually how a graph theory problem almost not all starts out quite often. As usually happens, some some people shake hands. Okay, so uh, we're gonna at, at some point uh, towards the uh, middle of the semester we'll do something called the handshaking lemma. Okay, so there's some handshaking that goes on. No one shook hands with the same person more than once. Show that there are at least two people at the part, two persons at the party who had the same number of handshakes. So, so is, 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 first of all, is the problem clear? If the problem is clear, what does this have to do with graph theory? How, would, how might you how might you look at this as uh, as a problem in graph theory? Um, people can be represented by vertices. Very good. And handshakes are edges. Okay. So what's the problem asking for? Uh, the at least two vertices have the, the same. Excellent. At least two vertices. So what this it's it's in terms of handshaking. In fact, what it's asking for in terms of graph theory is that there are two two vertices, at least two vertices that have the same degree. Okay, so that's uh, 14, and what did I give you, 16 as well? Oh, then it gets a little strange. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Sammy, 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 attended an exclusive party where in addition to themselves, there were only three other couples. So if I'm gonna look at this as, as, as a graph theory problem, with the, the idea that uh, people are vertices. How many vertices are at this, in this graph? Eight. Okay. As usually happens, some shake hands with others. No one shook hands with the same person more than once, and no one shook hands with his or her spouse. Okay. So, so once again, there's four couples, four couples, and after all the handshakes, shake, let's try it again. After all the handshakes had been done, Mr. Sammy 
asked whether each person, asked each person, including his wife, how many hands he had shaken, he or she had shaken. To everyone's amusement, each one gave a different answer. Okay, so, so, uh, so imagine it's, it's, uh, it's me, and I have three other couples, and my wife at a party, and there's some handshaking going on, and I go around and I ask everyone at the party, um, I ask everyone at the party, um, including my wife, how many hands he or she had shaken. To everyone's amusement, each one gave a different answer. Okay, so those were the answers. Give me what is, uh, what's a possibility for those for those answers. How many people are at the party? So uh, we can have zero. That would be a person that's not very friendly. Okay, a zero and and and, and then two through seven. Okay. So we could ah, but wait a second. Could we have a could we have a seven? No. So why couldn't we have a seven? Right. He can't shake. He and, and you don't shake yourself. Okay. So all right. To his amazement, to, to Mr. Sammy's amazement, I have a different answer from every person. How many hands did Mrs. Sammy shake? Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I went around and I asked seven people how many hands they shook. And all of a sudden, I'm supposed to know from that answer, the fact that they're all different, how many hands my wife shook. Okay? That's a graph theory problem. Okay, so, so 14 and 16, they're, they're kind of for you to play with. But I really would like you to look at the ones on 46, 59, and 70. And then we're going to spend some time talking about details necessary for proving stuff. Okay? Go. And I, I got I got a bunch of microphones, so so talk it up. Testing. Hello. Testing. None of these none of these were homework problems, right? No, no, there's homework that's due on Tuesday. Suspiciously, none of these are to be turned in on Tuesday. I, I, I'm not that naive. I, and, yeah, maybe I should. The title is, um, yeah. Yeah, this is, I mean, 46 is back in 1, 59, 2, and 3. 2, and another 70 is. 70 is. Oh, yes, you don't have, yeah, no. What you be here? 70 is. 70 is in, uh, I look like chapter 2 still. Yeah. Yep. Chapter 2. This is one of the degrees of Oh, uh, okay. So, so, um, uh, what is this notation? Degrees of x and w. Is it is that degree? You sure? I think that's I think that's the distance from x to y. Okay, and distance, well, and, and and in particular the distance. I mean, we should we should check this, but uh, uh, if we go if we go to um, if I go to uh, page 43, we're talking about the distance from u to b. We have the triangle inequality. By the way, on page 43, 
How many of you have heard of the triangle inequality? If you took analysis, you heard about it in, for real numbers. For graphs, it's the distance from u to b is less than or equal to the distance from u to w plus the distance from w to b. So what is the, what do we, what do we, how do we determine what the distance is? You take the shortest path and it's a number. Count the edges. Count the edges. That's important. So it's the it's the number of edges edges in the shortest path shortest x w path and that's it. Number of edges in a shortest x w path. Phones out, so talk it up. <coughs> uh, regular just means that every vertex has oh, yeah. the same number. So all if there are things that you want to define, so maybe we should. Uh, I heard one. What does it mean to be regular? What does it mean to be regular? All the vertices have the same degree. All the vertices have the same degree. Okay? And if we say it's R regular, R regular, he uses that notation, doesn't he? Yeah. What is R good? is a number and that's the degree. Okay, so R is an integer, a non negative integer. And that means that it's every vertex has degree r. Okay, that would, that's what we mean by r regular. Okay. Center and radius and circumference. So the degree would be n minus one. But if we, we didn't do we didn't do the center, but we did cover the distance between. It has to be at most. No. Okay. Wait a second. We we need. Uh, sorry. So for a vertex in this graph. So the distance. At most n minus two things coming out. Uh, and and it's uh, it's d u v. And its neighborhood. Okay, the distance between two vertices, yeah, u and v. At most, at most. I mean, what 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 do you imagine the distance? Well, what's the distance one. in in real v life is between two points? So what's it? The amount of space in between. Yeah, the amount of space in between. But we don't have space in graphs, kind of. And from a vertex. So so what do you think we mean by the distance from u to v? If we think 
Okay, so it's the length. So the length would be the number of edges. Let's put it. Let's put it. Do exactly. Let's, yeah, we're going to talk. So it is the number of edges in a shortest UV path. And if U and V are not, if they're not in the same component, oh, what's a component? Do, do I? What's a component? So if I have a disconnected graph, then, then components are the connected pieces. If U and V are in different components, then we say the distance between U and V is infinite. Okay? It's not very interesting when they're in different, different components. Okay, so if U and V are in the same component, that means it's a connected component. It's a connected piece. And that means that I can get from any one point to any other point. So the distance is the length of the shortest path, the number of edges in the shortest UV path. Is that clear? Okay. So we know there's a vertex. Mm -hmm. So I thought that this would end up with we would have to have a vertex somewhere else. But it's possible that this vertex connects to all the same vertices. What I want is for this vertex to go somewhere else. So that this is a distance to pass. Right. To in this part, we don't have to pass. This is X now. If it says graph, then it's not multiple edges. We have a problem. It says, if it doesn't say, so we know that in this neighborhood, so okay. <coughs> there must be a vertex that goes somewhere else who's connected to some because one, it's connected to the other. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. 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 Okay, if this is the shortest path. There must be. So to connect to this vertex, there must be a path coming out of these. Is the first image. There are more than two vertices. So that about first mm -hmm. So whatever the first vertex on the path is. You know, so each vertex next to the G. So this would be the distance to this graph. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like halfway there. And then there's one other edge. And this is a complete graph. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Does that make sense? I mean, it's not totally a perfect curve, but this is the idea. So if the graph is order M, and R These two could have the same neighborhood. It is possible that they have the same neighbors, um, including each other. But it's not possible for all of them. Because if all of the neighbors have extended, they all have the same neighborhood. Since it's not complete, there's a vertex somewhere else that still has to be connected to. And if you want to be connected to that, you would break the degree. So since it's a, a regular graph, you have to leave next. I'm, I'm trying to say it more forward. What I'm saying right now, you couldn't write it. You can have a product. And because the graph is um, connected and incomplete, that vertex must so have a neighbor that does not need the vertex. We think about the neighborhood of an X and the graph. This is the exists for each vertex. So the neighborhood of X. So the graph is connected and incomplete. Okay. 
小孩的脸。That's good. That's what we. That's why I want to do this. Uh, so yeah, um, what I'm saying was pretty much that I made a big mistake. Uh, if it is not a complete graph, so there vertex. must be yeah. more than two. Then there must be a path. Given vertex x, you could travel to an adjacent yeah. vertex. This vertex yeah. the graph is connected okay. and complete. That vertex must have a neighbor that does not neighbor the vertex. It might be more. But, oh, but uh, I mean, I think you have so you all the choice of having to this but uh, this so, more than so one. So, what, which problem? What problem? Then there is a vertex three. on this path. 46, 3, I'm going to Which is not complete. complete. Okay, so, such so, 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 that this, okay, so, so one more time. Okay, so now I got it. It's not complete. Here's a vertex that There must be two vertices. More than two vertices. More than two vertices. What, now, why, why, uh, yeah, okay. Why do you say that? Because this graph right here is on two vertices, so and that's a complete graph. Uh, very good. There's okay. From All right. So, so you might want to tell the reader that, but um, but that's okay. It's not okay. It's it's got more than two vertices because the only the only connect the path on two vertices is with the Okay. Okay. Given x, you could travel to an adjacent vertex. Exactly. Yeah. Adjacent vertex. How do you see that? And, and so because the vertex, oh no, the graph is connected, if we yeah, take the shortest path from x to y, not complete. Okay, incomplete. If the I'll distance from x to y equals two, we're done. Um, yeah, that's true. The vertex mm -hmm. must have it's not a neighbor. Two. It's not a neighbor then of the vertex. The second vertex on the path from x to y is distance two. Yeah. Okay, so if you so write that it down, depends. It's Okay, so so here's where I start. Um, it's good, yeah. But I think we were supposed to use because we didn't say anything about the degree. And it's a regular graph. This proof is true. Here's the whole graph. Here's the whole graph. But I think they wanted and us to make it right. And, and, and the second vertex you choose is this. Nothing about degree or okay. Now, exactly. Now, how do I know that there's no? Just about the connected no graph. Exactly. I mean, but you wrote down, so wrote down that um, there must be a distance. Uh, so that there must be a neighbor that does not. This is a stronger not statement. A neighbor of right. the we don't need that the graph is right now. Okay. okay. I think Sorry. that yeah. they want us to do let's, some uh, brain yeah, exercise with the right let's, let's So let's that. And I think that proof. Okay. So I go is to, I go to what I was describing. Uh, why? Yeah. With now, the neighborhood. Why doesn't have a neighbor? Yeah. Why doesn't have a neighbor that isn't the neighborhood of X? Oh, this is also a regular graph. Oh, this is a regular graph. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. So if this equals n of x. Uh. <laughs> let's see. I'll, I'll make a reg regular graph. Let's say there's a problem. Okay. So. <laughs> so uh, I want I want uh, so it's got to be a big. If graph, this is the case, so then the graph is complete. Oh, it's not complete. Uh, So it must not see, be so it's regular, it so yeah. I have to have vertex three, in the neighborhood of the neighborhood. So it's not. And, uh, <coughs> so this has three, 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 three. This one doesn't have three. This one has four. So let's try this. So one more time. So it's not complete. So there must be more than two vertices. Uh, given so the vertex x, you could yeah. travel. Travel is not a graph word, but okay. Travel well, to. Uh, uh, so there is a vertex adjacent to x. Okay. So you know uh, I, you're traveling down an edge, but there's you know we don't we don't use the word the verb travel, but that's okay. Uh, travel to a vertex to a, an adjacent vertex. Um, so there's our neighbors. Sorry. Because the graph is connected and incomplete. incomplete. That vertex must must have a neighbor that is not a neighbor of the vertex you stored. Okay, one more time. So here's where I store. R is less than n minus one. Is there a degree condition? Uh, every degree must be the same. Yeah. Every degree must be the same. Okay. So, so. Um, 
But this is this would turn into the same proof as that. So, yeah, yeah, so I, so I need a one, a one, and a one. Okay, so I start at X. Yes. And I go so to one of its neighbors. Yeah. Okay. So Actually, it was just do more. Oh, that's happening. Okay, so it has a neighbor. Yeah, maybe. I don't okay, so yeah. I, I might believe that. I could say there exists and not all. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Right, okay, yep. Yeah. Must be a neighbor that does not. <laughs> so how can we how can we write this up? Well, so so I have a vertex X, and here is its neighborhood. Okay. And um, it's, it's 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 not complete, right? Yeah. It's not complete. So, so, so I know this is our text X, which has it its regular that, of degree um, R. Okay, so N of X, the order of N of X is equal to R. Okay, and I just want to show that there are two vertices G that are not adjacent. Is not is that, is that right? Okay, so, so um, if, uh, this if, implies so that for all X, I want to show in that it has a neighbor that's not a neighbor of the vertex you started at. Okay, so what I know is there's all vertices there here and this is not complete. A w okay, so I know that there is, there is, let's say that's a, that's a non edge. We know that these two are non adjacent. Okay, so now let's do a count. So to take the opposite Okay, so of this has degree r. You would say, so here's a vertex. X. Here's a vertex. So there are R minus two more vertices. Such that in in this all in this neighborhood. R minus two more vertices. Okay. I'm sorry, why would there be R minus two? Okay, so the, the degree is uh, in the the degree is R. Okay. And so here's X's R neighbors. So that's that's how you would take the contribution. Here's here's a vertex Y. So if you assume and here's this, a vertex that I know here's X. this is not adjacent to that. Okay? Right. Then so I know that y is not adjacent to graph. Graph. Y is adjacent to the x, is not two. and it could be adjacent to these r minus two. So that uh, so that's how many vertices. Right. So we have is it adjacent we, we show that that could if we assume this, point. then the graph is either not connected, r minus two plus or complete plus plus one plus one. Okay. But it's regular degree r. Okay. So so one more time. You know it's not adjacent to this one. It could be adjacent to these R minus two, and it is adjacent so, to this one. So you know we want this and that. And it's regular that. degree R. So there's got to be at least and if one we assume more this, point. Then, then we need to work towards okay. one and of that, these and things. And that's what you're trying to show. Right? <coughs> that's that's how it's now, now write those words up into a proof. Okay. Okay. Now, now you know you know the details. Now make sure your words. Say right. Them. That that would be one way. So. Because that's what I want to do today. I want to I want to actually talk about how you write details of proofs. We could do that in different cases. How are you guys doing? All right. Um, do you think this is a good start? Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. All over to the, okay. So. So G is a regular thing for graph. So all vertices have the same grid. And half between all vertices exist. Okay, because that's connected. Right? Okay. Uh, so each vertex in G is connected to at least one other vertex. Uh, no, sure, sure. So each vertex X is adjacent to another vertex, let's say in this case V. And V would be connected to another vertex as well. Um, why do we know that? G uh, just because it's is more regular. regular. Okay. Um, and X not connected. V. That's the whole graph. So oh, very much. That's the whole graph. Um, then X. Yeah. So there, there exists. Uh, what I then have to say. If, if yeah. But 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 what what this this is a there's another condition in this problem, right? It can't be a complete graph. So I guess this is which problem this is. Oh, this is three. Okay. Let G be a regular graph that's not complete. So this is the whole graph. And that's the whole graph. This is what is this? This is this is K two. Like what, what did 
it's not complete. What, how did you? Hey, one more time. So uh, G is a regular connected graph, which is not complete. Okay. So now you need another vertex. Now we know there's got to be another vertex. Okay. Now find out, find, figure out where where that other vertex is, and we want that vertex to not be in the neighborhood. Okay. Thanks. Right, so that it would be degree n minus one, so but it can't be. So that's con that's the contradiction. Okay, well, so here. Um, oh, okay. We're trying to do this via induction. Do you think that's a good route? Uh, uh, there's a that's a that's a pretty good route. Okay. That's a, that's a, yeah, we're we're almost there, but I feel like I just I keep I keep convincing myself there's yet another case. I'm okay, all right. Did I give you that problem too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 14. So then 14. D of X. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. That's the, one of the handshake problems. Yeah. 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 It's greater than 2. Um, yeah. Then we're done. Yeah. 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 This works, but I don't think we're supposed to use it. Okay. Yeah, because when they define it, general 2. Then we're done. General 2. No, this proof is something more general. Yeah, that's too general. I would need to use all the conditions. Okay, let's step up. Actually, I'll ask. Okay, well, the number three is yeah, not complete graph. Um, a connected, not complete graph. It's all right. Okay. Um, uh, so, actually, um, yeah, you would use contradiction when. Oh, that's a distance. Like, this be a character. Look, there's one that doesn't. Yeah, and then by contradiction. So that every answer is a vertex. So that's a it's a one graph. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
B1, B2, and, and, and keep going to B, K, whatever you want to call it. And you know that K has got to be greater than 2. Okay, so now what can we talk about? The path X, B1, B2. No, not at least. Oh, it is exactly 2. Exactly 2. Oh, so what's the distance between X and B2? So, oh, what are you trying to show? Let's, let's think about a path. <laughs> no, you, you. So suppose we have okay, you as the start of a path. We assume that the distance is yes. from X to W, not to X. Oh, can uh, we just show this? Uh, <laughs> at least, yeah. So, you can prove a contradiction, or it's, it's really a direct path. Yeah, everyone has had it. Right, so choose one. Yes. Um, and then this has degrees at least to F. So you can choose How's it going? one of those. These are hard, aren't they? That isn't you. These are easy, but they're hard because there's a lot of words. Okay, so which one are you? Which one are you working on? It can be in here. You're not working on the radius. It can be in there. So long as it's not the first. Okay. So maybe not instead of U, we can do V1, V2, and that just means V3. And you can always choose a vertex in the okay, next so, one. So can I help you with this one? Yes. That is okay. not V1. So, so yeah. let's choose a point. Let, let, sorry, yeah. choose let's ten. choose yeah. a longest so two to choose here, at least. Okay, so choose a longest path. So, uh, I'm, I'm right path. Path. so I'm going to choose a longest path. path. There's my, this is my longest path. Okay. Now, if this path, if this path is, has more than K plus one, if this path has length greater than K, if, if this path has length K, or more. Okay, so, so, okay. We're proving what, what's being asserted. Is, is that has it says one more time, it says, uh, uh, let G be a graph with memory K, where K is positive, show that G contains a path of length K. So it doesn't have to, but it's possible. Okay. Right? You can't so have this is a path that, that you doesn't have length K. Graph with L3 N minus 1. Okay. So minimum if, three, if, right? if this path has length then there's a path of length the path of length exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If this doesn't well, have length k, there's two possibilities. The length is less than k, or the length is greater than k. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose. Let's choose a here's um, x, and I'm going to choose the so longest it has a length um, k path. You you look at every path starting yeah. at X, so you, just cut and you look at the longest one from X. Okay. okay. If if this has length K, you're done. Length K means sense. there are K K edges. K edges. So if you have a if so let's say this is a K, K plus then, one. then we're done. If it has length here. greater than K. So there are more than K edges here. K okay, so let's count this one. edge that's labeled at yeah. X1, and this. and this one X2, and this one X oh, T, yeah, and let's yeah. just put I, I just, just cut I just think it's a cycle. XT so minus one and XT. Oh, a cycle? Yeah, I just okay. think This is the longest path from X. Cycle, so it's it's the longest path. Right, okay. yeah, there's no repeat, if, repeated vertex. If, yeah. Yeah. So the problem is if that T is greater than or so we need to what am I looking for? K? Dot, dot, if, if t is greater than k, there are t minus two. Uh, this is a path of length one. This is a path yeah. of length two. Um, Where's the path of length so two? One in the very path worst case, one. it connects to every one of them. Mm -hmm. Path of length two. But since it is minimum degree path k, of length three. there's at least one more to pick. Path of length t. Okay. If t is greater than or equal to k, then I would have a path of length. Well, I would. I would just go less. I would have a path of length. Path of length. Okay. Okay. So, so t t must be strictly less than k. Okay. Now this was a, this was a longest path. Okay. One more time. I chose a longest path in the whole graph. I looked at every path in the graph, and I chose a longest path. Okay. All right. Now, let's see. So t is less than k. So 1, 2, 3, t, uh, t minus 1, t. 
and that's less than k. Yep. Okay. Now here comes here comes the the, the important step. But what's the degree of x? What's the degree of x? What does it say? Bigger than bigger than or equal to k. Okay. So x could be adjacent to this one. It could be adjacent to this one. It could be adjacent to this one. Adjacent. It could be adjacent to all of these. But that's less than k. Okay. You got it. Okay, one more time, because the rest of you know, I'm not sure. So, so one more time, if, if t is less than k, x can be adjacent to this one, x can be adjacent to this one, x can be adjacent to this one, x can be adjacent to all of these, right? So the degree of, the degree of x is equal to t, and then it's gotta be, and, and it's gotta be more, and plus more. Why do I know it's got to be more? It has a k degree. Because if right. t was equal to k, yeah, it could. this would be a it could half be, and it doesn't have to be connected with another one. Okay. Now here comes the important part. So it's a okay. So it's a x must be adjacent to something else. Degree regular graph. It's, it, it's a you know, we, we degree don't degree have to worry about these guys. Yeah. It must be adjacent to something else. Then, well, so but wait a second. Right. You chose a yeah, longest path. So your worst case, it's completely. What can you tell me about this path? Um, but you think about the vertices in the path. This was the longest path. So if it's k degree, well, what can you tell me about this path? There are k plus one vertices. Right. So that's it. Proof is over. When I think about the now of write the vertex, it. now write that down. Only one of them. I, I see one. four blank stairs. You look what I mean like that. So I, I just spoke any of the different ones. Oh, yeah. yeah. I am. Yeah. But I don't figure yeah. out like. And so Are now, in, in this one, there's I'm from that country. K vertices, at least suppose, K vertices. Suppose the longest path is less than, yeah. suppose Only two the longest one. path has length less than K. Yeah, keep going. Okay. So suppose here is, the, the, here is a longest path. This is V1, here, V2, V3. Here is a longest path. If, if, if this is, K, if this is so if you're at v not K, K then this has another edge. Then there okay, because are x could be adjacent to each of these vertices that you can't choose. But it needs to be adjacent to something else because t is not Since k. Um, is it has t at least k neighbors. There's at least two to choose from. T is less than k. Okay. So so if t is less than so k, these are then not either x is adjacent but to because there's something at least else, k neighbors, or still there's another path. path. There's a longer path to get to v k plus x to get to that. Now write those words down. Why don't, why do we have more to choose? Why can, can, can we, can they like, have to use each other? Because it's a path, so, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the path that means they just go straight and uh, no way through? So let me just say that in graph theory, sometimes it's, you want to prove it by picture. Now, I will tell you that starting with a picture is a good place to start. But once you have a picture that you're happy with, now you got to put it into words, and that's where the it gets it gets not complicated, but you want to put it into words that the reader can understand what you're saying. Is that clear? Yeah. And I'm the reader, <laughs> or you're the reader. I don't know. Did uh, did they put it, uh, some of these proofs into terms that you understand? I don't know. That we'll, we'll judge that at the end of the semester. So let's practice writing a real paragraph. Yeah. I'm trying to write it down. How are you guys doing? Doing all right. A lot of this time, uh, a lot of the time in this class, when he's teaching or when I'm helping, we just give you the idea. But maybe now we need to practice writing it down. Uh, I can write this. Yes, that's, that's the hard part. Writing this stuff is the worst. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the shortest path. Uh, well, it's, it's yes, only a path. It's the shortest path. Exactly. Under exactly. That's, that's important. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this would be a cycle. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Where K is the only need So it follows that the distance from um, between the V2 is equal to V2. Isn't that? In, so it says there's one a more time. If in part this B, is the shortest the second part. Mm -hmm. And if this edge was, if the edge from X to V2 were there, mm -hmm. this would be a shorter path. So it must be the case that the edge from X to V2 is so not there. Okay, one more time. Okay, so so we're assuming uh, that that you take a shortest. Let's see. Assume X is in V, such that. Uh, okay, so we want we we're assuming that the distance from <coughs> from X to W is not two. And uh, so where's W? Where's W in the picture? I'm going to tell me Okay. <laughs> I should have put W. So this should be W1, W2. Okay, to, to W. Yeah. Okay. So this should be up to W. Okay. So should I make all these? Yeah, that's a, no, that's a, let's, just, let's just change that to, which is, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so assume there exists uh, for all W such that the distance from X. Zero. Can I okay, so, so, so in fact, what it's really, what the book, what the problem is really saying is. Two of the vertices connect to every other vertex, meaning zero. Every regular connected zero. graph, which is not complete, degree sequence. Uh, show that the for each vertex, there exists a vertex W in G such that the distance from X to W is two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what is. What, what what would let me, I'm going to change I'm going to change direction a little bit. Okay, what what would it mean for the distance from x to w to be two? What would that mean? In, in the shortest path is two. Is two. Okay, number of edges in the shortest path from x to w is, is two. Okay, so one more time. Okay. Uh, let you be a regular connected graph, which is not complete. Show that there. Is, so, so I'm going to take a vertex X. Okay. There exists a vertex W such that. So I'm going to take a vertex X. It's not complete. So the, there is a vertex X that's not adjacent to that. Okay. Let let X be one one of those ones. So the degree of x is less than or minus two. Less than or equal to two. So, so, so one more time. One more time. I'm, I'm, I'm changing. I'm changing. Okay. So here's x. Right. And x and the the degree of x is less than or equal to n minus two. So you choose v two from this. So so now I'm going to look at all the vertices adjacent to x. Okay. Is, is it a connected so graph? So it's, 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 we don't know it's the same. You, you choose but we, we know. Oh, yeah, you choose VI. But we know it's not complete. So, so you choose VI from VI. Oh, connected. Okay. Not, okay. Right. not complete. Such that. Okay. So, VI. Okay. So, and it has to be right. Okay. So, let's look in the neighborhood. Let's look in, in the neighborhood of X. So, Okay, if, if they were all, let, let's, let's, uh, let's assume that um, there, are, there are two vertices, um, U and V, so that U, V is not an edge. Okay? So there's, there's no edge in here. There's no edge. If there's no edge, then can the distance between U and V be one? What's the shortest path? Can you tell me the shortest <laughs> Oh, so if there's no edge in here, here is a pair of vertices that are distance to. Okay. Now, what, what, what was my assumption? Okay, one more time. I chose the vertex X. And if this is not complete, it's, it, I, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay, one more time. 
X, I take the neighborhood of X, and I don't care whether it's regular or not. It, it, we're we're going to do something else if this is if this is if this is complete. Okay. So if the neighborhood is not complete, then there are two points that are non-adjacent, and then therefore the distance has to be greater than one. But in fact, there is a path of length too. So the distance from here to here is two. Okay. So in fact, what does that say about the neighborhood of X? Or it's complete. Okay. So if this is complete. And it can't be the whole graph. Why can't it be the whole graph? Oh, well, that's, those are the words. Not complete. Okay. So th if, this was, if this was complete and X is adjacent to this, then the whole graph would be complete if that was all the vertices. Yeah. So there must be more mm -hmm. vertices. So that means okay. So there must be more so vertices. If it was any five. At least one. Okay. So I'm going to choose a vertex, and I know that it's connected. So I know that there's a path from this vertex up to X. You can't find the Well, okay. So if it goes around, the point over here. What can you tell me about that point? Oh, but then it would have been okay. So if it was K5, this is, this is the neighborhood of X. And then, and, and, well, it's not only not, I mean, I mean, you can't have it both ways. Either it's in the neighborhood or it's not. I'm sorry, I'm having a big brain uh, No, 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 what does it mean to be in the neighborhood? The neighborhood of X is all the vertices adjacent to X. So, wait a second, you can't have it both ways. So, so either this is adjacent to X, and therefore it's in the neighborhood, or it's not adjacent to X, and it's not in the Okay. Right? Okay. All right. So, so, uh, so there's a there's a vertex that's uh, this is not the whole graph. This is not the vertex. Okay. And and th this is complete, but it's connected. It's connected. So this graph is connected. And in fact, this this vertex W, uh, there's a path from W to X. Has to has to go through the neighborhood. Why? Yeah, this is connected, and these are all the adjacency effects. Must go through the neighborhood. Okay. So the this vertex just before well, let's call this um, let's call this B one. Okay. And on the path from W to X, let's call this vertex B two. Okay. And I know that this 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 could be W, um, but I know that it exists and it's not the neighborhood. Okay. What's the distance from X to B two? You're looking at me like it's magic. It's not, it's not magic. Okay. So, so one more time. Let's go through the, the details of this. I was born on November 4th, 1996. Well, there's, yes, there's edges missing. You know, Put them in if we need to. Okay. Um, you know that's the important thing is that we don't need to put them in. We're looking at a photograph. We're looking at a photograph. I mean, there could be many more vertices over here, and there could be edges in here, and there could be edges here, and there could be. Edges here, and, there could be edges. and we know it's connected because that's the condition. But it's not complete. That's that's the important thing. If it's all if it's all complete, then then yeah, then this is nothing. Yeah, this is. You're 25, right? 
the shortest distance is absolutely less than two. The shortest distance between any two points is one. I mean, that's, it helps. If I assume that it's, it's, it's complete, then I can't find two vertices of distance two. If we have. Okay, so let's go through this group one more time. Of these graphs on K Regular. Oh, um, test them all. Degree R. And it's connected. has degree K. And it's not complete. And these all have at least degree okay. K. All right, so you close your eyes, you choose this any vertex X. doesn't lie. It's regular. How so many adjacencies are there to X? So when we choose our path, Right, if we want to turn our path from that problem into a cycle, we have to be really careful because we can okay. end up with a cycle. It's, it's, it's all right. Okay. It now, I mean, here's a, here's a, a step there's that's cycles kind of important, although not necessarily, necessarily necessary. So you might this have to is make not complete. Yeah. If, there is a, if there is a pair of points, say U and V, that are not adjacent, that makes sense. then what's, wow. what's the shortest path? Uh, uh, they're not adjacent. They're not adjacent. Yeah, from U to V, what's the shortest path from U to V? K plus one. Two. And what am I looking for? All the possible degree sequences. Okay. So, in fact, if it's not complete, this then, has minimum then we're done. Okay, so in fact, and then each of these also have a minimum. No, 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 no. The neighborhood all the possible degree sequences and a graph. Okay, so, so if it's if the neighborhood is not complete, then, then we have to consider. I mean, so this we know that in fact this neighborhood, the neighborhood. Okay. The neighborhood the of X is all possible degree sequences. Yeah. Okay. So these because then you can't just say it. They have that atlas They're all connected to each other. Okay. But that can't be the whole graph because what condition do we have on the whole graph? They have the, that the whole graph is not complete. There must be somebody else. Okay. There must be somebody else. And it's connected. So this somebody else, there's a path from this somebody else up to X. Okay. So so let's imagine here's the point, and I'm coming around, and it's and it's the only place you can go. It can't go directly to X because these are all the neighbors. So eventually, if you're having a night. And you're imagining graphs that work. Um, this is a graph that works. Uh, there's no, it doesn't really matter. Of but I, 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 I just so want to, you know, this shows because you I, I can't, I don't want to necessarily say, oh, there's a vertex. You can't just choose from X because that's what I'm trying so that to do. It, so uh, I know there's path. another vertex. You have to okay, and I know because it's connected, there's a path from this vertex up to X. And on this path, there is a first vertex, um, I'm not sure how you or a last vertex before I hit this. Okay, and and again, this vertex is not in here, and it's not adjacent to X. So let me let me put this in. It's not adjacent to X. So and let's call this Y. Then the distance from X to Y X doesn't matter which way. And that's what you're talking about. Now, now, now the important thing is, now you got to write it in words. I mean, so, you know, so, so let me just say, you know, graph theory is nice, you can draw pictures, but it's when you have to put the, put it down in words so that somebody else can understand, you know, give me a picture, I can't, I can't tell whether it's right. You have to explain what, by words, to say how these proofs work. Okay, is that clear? You're getting practice on these? Questions? You don't look like you're too sure about this. Oh. You sure? Um, not exactly. <laughs> not exactly sure. Okay, do you have a problem you want to, do you have one you want to look at? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Start. start at the beginning. So oh. it's, uh, we, just, we, we figure out a way that can prove this in a pretty general way, but uh -huh. we don't use all the conditions this problem provides us. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, sometimes I give you too many conditions. Sometimes it gives you too many conditions. But usually it gives you the right number of conditions. So which problem are you looking at? Um, so, the three? Uh, problem. Number, of, on page 46? Yes. <laughs> okay. There's lots of ways to prove this. Yeah. Okay. So, so, what, so explain to me what you, what you, 
So basically, if you want to prove that, let me find out. So basically, if you want to prove that there, ex there exists a word that uh, the, the shortest path is two. Two, right? So it's easy to show that it cannot be one because it, if it is one, it must be a complete graph. Correct. Yeah. Okay. But if we wait, 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 wait. so so if if the distance between any two ver if it's complete. Yeah, then the one. distance between any two vertices is one, and, and that's a contradiction because we're not allowed to have a complete graph. It's not complete. It's not complete, and what's true? What do we know? And the distance, oh, sorry. Uh, it's, not it's, uh, it's not complete, but it, oh, shoot, sorry. but it is connected. Yeah. That's the key. Yeah. It's not complete, but it is connected. Yeah. We, okay. we hope to show when it is uh, more than two, it is not connected. Or okay. Or yeah, if it's, uh, if it's you more than two, it has, if the shortest path, the distance of the shortest path is more than two, then we, yeah, we must have another <laughs> vertex that just connected, because if it's one and two, there must be some vertex in the chain. Yes. Yeah. But now you got to write down words. Oh, okay. so well, we didn't use the fact that the graph was right Yeah. Oh, uh, OK, uh, in fact, it's probably not, not important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, do you have a proof? Uh, you, you didn't use regular. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. that's, that's fine. That's fine? Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, can I jump in? Thinking about I think, I think you need it to be regular in the case where if, if the one vertex. Oh, well, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. So, sorry, if it's, if you only have two vertices, it's connected. It's, okay, so it's connected, but it is, oh, sorry, uh, so. So I have a regular connected graph. Not complete. So you can't have K2. Show that each vertex X, there exists a vertex W, so that the distance from okay. So All what right. Michael just said is that um, we need to prevent a vertex of degree n minus one, basically. So if it, if it's connected to everything, then it's true that this doesn't have any vertex that it's distance two away from. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So 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 one more time, we have a regular connected graph that's not complete. Okay. So the possibilities for regular are it could be anywhere from zero regular, which wouldn't be very interesting. That's just a bunch of independent, uh, isolated vertices, up to n minus one regular. Okay, so if it was n minus one regular, n minus one regular, so this point would be adjacent to n minus one vertices, and this point would be adjacent to n minus one vertices, but where are the n minus one vertices? They're all right here. So this point would be adjacent to everything, and this point would be adjacent to everything, and this point would be adjacent. So in fact, this would be a complete graph. Yes. So we know that it's not complete. So we know that the 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 it's R regular where R is less than n minus one. That's that's important. Yeah. Okay. So I take my point, and it's adjacent to fewer than n minus one groups. So it's just, uh, it's not a regular graph. It's possible to have uh, a vertex that connects to everything. So, so, so I, I guess kind of the big counter example, the reason that we want regular is that this is a graph of six ver uh, seven vertices. There's one of degree six. It's not complete. It's not. Um, what else did we need? It's connected, it's not complete. But it's not true that every vertex is distance at least two or distance two away, because this vertex is distance one away from every vertex. Yeah. So for we need it to be regular so that this doesn't happen. So so you understand we can't show equal to two if we have a vertex that has that's adjacent to everything. Because the distance from this vertex to everybody is one. Okay. Okay. Now you got to prove it. Now you got to write it. Now, okay. So you know that we know that we don't have a, a, a vertex of degree n minus one. Okay. So so the degree is r. The degree is r where r is strictly less than n minus one. Now show that. Or did, have you done that? Uh, so we only need to check because oh. even if you have a vertex that's not adjacent to another vertex. Then it's true. Yeah, there is right. there is a path. Mm -hmm. So so you've done that. Mm -hmm. That part's true. And yeah. then so now, 
Yeah. If it's regular, then and not complete through this can. Right. So that's just one more case. So now you have to write. Okay. 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 Try. Okay. Okay. I'm happy to help you. Thank you. I forgot about this. So it's every vertex has a distance to. Oh, you guys do it. We could replace the regular. No, not too good. Okay, which one? What are we working on? With there is no vertex adjacent to every vertex, and that would be enough. That's a good reason. Yeah. Which one? Page fifty-nine. Yeah. Number eight. Let's see what number eight is. Okay, give me a grant. Oh, give me a grant. Sure. Order five. What does that mean? Five vertices. Five vertices. Make it smaller. Okay, so we have a graph of order five, and it contains at least two vertices of degree four. Well, uh, if I have a graph of order five, there are my five vertices, what's the largest the degree can be? Four. Okay, and I have two of them. I have two vertices of degree four. So, what, so, so I take those two vertices of degree four, and I know that they're adjacent to each other. Let me, I'll do it up here. So I have at least two vertices of degree four. And it must look like that. Must, that's, that's what it must look like. Right? So now, what am I trying to prove? Sorry? So I have a, uh, let's see. So uh, order five, that's all the vertices right there, five vertices. There are two, at least two vertices of degree five. Find all possible degree sequences in, of H, this is the, the graph, in non-increasing order. Oh, that's all it says. So what's the degree sequence of this graph? What's the degree sequence of this graph? I heard two, two. Don't be afraid. What, 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 what is a degree sequence? What do we mean by that? So, so it's the sequence of degrees. So this is the whole graph. So my sequence, you either start with the little ones or the big ones. So here's my degree sequence for this graph. Four, four, two, two, two. Yeah. Okay. Now we know that it has two vertices of degree four. This is we want all the degree sequences of a, of a graph on five vertices that have two vertices of degree four. Okay. So could I add more edges to this? By the way, let me just remind you, this is one degree sequence array. Can I add more edges to this? Where, where, where can I add an edge? On the bottom. Okay, here's here's another. This is a different graph. What's the degree sequence of this graph? Okay. okay. Now, can I add another edge in here? And, and the last one? So, are, we, are we supposed to? Then we make it complete, then my degree sequence would be. So it, was this problem too easy? <laughs> so, so help me. Why do you have such a question? To give you practice in drawing. Oh, sorry. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. It does say that we're supposed to list them in non-increasing order. But I mean, what what would be non-increasing? So I guess these are all non-increasing. So as we go from going from from left to right, left to right, you don't want to you don't want it to increase. So four four two two two. 
And you're embarrassed that you asked me about. Yeah. <laughs> we have uh, So So that's why you have four four. So let's four four three two three. That's why they ask you to do it in non decreasing, non increasing order. So four four three two three. Look at this increases. Right. The problem asks for non increasing. I thought, like, I thought it doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> so the degrees, I'm listing degrees in non-increasing order. So here, the degree of this vertex is smaller than the degree of this vertex. So it's, this would be increasing. OK? But we have this, this graph is right here. Four, four, three, three, two. Yeah. You, you're, you're not believing me. Ask, ask me. Oh, OK. Just, just go away from me. Just go away. That's what you tell me. OK. Right. Do, you have another, do you have another question? Or? So, so which one? So, page 59. Uh, you want me to give you my proof? I, I don't have any What's O3, K3? Okay. Okay, so, so let, let me see number eight. Uh, on page uh, okay. 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 So, so, um, so I have min degree is k. Okay, and k is a positive integer, and I want to show that g contains a pair. Okay. Okay. So, so let's let's choose a longest fail. Okay. So, so here's how I would. Okay. Want me to write on board? Or want me to sit down and Okay. Okay. So I would choose a longest path. Okay. In the whole graph, I would choose. So let me see what you're missing from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so, so, just the walking over. Okay. That's all right. Okay. So let G be a graph with min degree k. Okay. And uh, k is a positive integer. That's good. Okay. I want to show that G contains a pair. Okay. Uh, what three cases do you I would say, I would say, here's how I would do it. I know you don't know what the graph looks like, but choose a longer section. Okay, see what you're saying. Draw a picture. No, okay, choose the longest path. Okay, so here's the longest path. Okay, now if this is, this is, if, if T is greater than or equal to K, so if T is greater than or equal to K plus one, then, then the length of this path would be, so you started at X and you ended up at X. So the length of this is one, two, three, the length of this is T. So if T is greater than or equal to K, then you have a point of one. Right? 
how to write. Okay. So so choose the longest. So you choose the longest pen. Choose the longest pen. Okay. And you label it. X X one X two X three. Uh, so that's how I would, I would write all those words. Out. If T is greater than or equal to K, if T is greater than or equal to K, then this would be a, a pair of like, okay, this is how I would write exactly this word. If T is greater than or equal to K, then this would be a pair of like, That's a T. Okay. Yeah, this is a hard case where it's less than the hard case. Okay, so, so the, the longest pair is less than that. Okay, so here's, here's the longest pair, and T is less than that. Okay, now, what can you tell me about the degree? What's the degree of the point X? What can you tell me about the degree of the point X? If it's greater than equal to x, and t is less than k, okay. so x could be adjacent to one, it could be adjacent to x one, it could be adjacent to x two, it could be adjacent to x three, it could be adjacent to x two. But that's not enough. Why is that not enough? Yeah. Okay. So what, what must be the case? X must be adjacent to something else. Okay. Okay. Uh, another vertex. And if X is adjacent to another vertex, you can't go along with the vertex. Here's a longer one. Put it on. Let's choose X to be the, the, the first point of this line. Okay. But again, if X has degree, if T is less than K and X has degree greater than K, then there must be a vertex not on this path that's adjacent to it. And our choice of X is, was, in, was we would choose X differently if there was another the point that was adjacent. Okay? Okay, you understand? Okay. That's why we that's why we did this today. I mean it really takes practice to write these proofs so that I mean the the person off the street has to be able to read these and go, oh yeah, I understand. Okay? All right. Thank you all so much.